Hello, this is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to video 3 of the Vent Stack series. Today we talk about sizing the Vent Stack. All code references will be made from the 2015 National Plumbing Code of Canada. We're not going to be focusing on the sizing of the soil waste stack. That was covered in the previous video so you can watch that if you want to figure out how we do that. But what we're going to do is tell you that the soil waste stack from this point to this point is going to be 3 inches and below that is going to be four inch all the way through the building drain and out. Now in order to size a vent stack, we need to read through some clauses that tells us how to do it. That is clause 2584, part one. A vent stack or stack vent shall be sized in accordance with table 2584 based on A, the length of the vent stack or stack vent, and B, the total hydraulic load that is drained to the lowest section of the soil away stack or stack served by the vent pipe plus any additional vent loads connected to the vent stack or stack vent. We're not going to worry about the length just yet, that's the next clause. What we are going to worry about is the total hydraulic load that is drained to the base of the stack. So all I'm going to do is look at the soil away stack right at the very bottom here and see, hey, there's 90 fixed units there. That's what I need to size my vent stack based on. There's also a mention of counting any additional loads tied into the vent stack. And what this is referring to is fixtures that are not draining into the soil away stack. They're draining somewhere else, but you're going to tie the vent from it back into the vent stack. Then you would need to add that additional load. Next clause, 2584, part 2. For the purposes of table 2584, the length of a stack vent or vent stack shall be its developed length from its lower end to outside air. Well, it seems how this particular clause refers to the stack vent and the vent stack. Let's look at the stack vent first because it's a little bit more easy. So the very top of the soil away stack is the lower end of the stack vent, which is right here. And I go up three meters until I connect into the vent stack. And I have to go up two more meters to make it to outside air. So the developed length of the stack vent would be five meters. Now, if we look at the vent stack, its lower end is way at the base of the soil away stack where it connects in there. And I've given you a measurement of 26 meters, and that brings you up to where it ties together with the stack vent. And then to get to outside air, you need to go up a further 2 meters. So the developed length of the vent stack is 28 meters. So now we have enough information to look at table 2584 and size our vent stack. So first we need to go down the left hand column, size of soil away stack in inches. Now we're talking about the size of the soil away stack at its very base, which is four inch. So I go down to the four inch and I have four selections there. Now those four selections are hydraulic loads or fixture units. The first selection is 43, which is not quite high enough. I need to go to 90 fixture units. So I go to the next one, that's good up to 140. If I go across to the right to the two inch column, that is good till eight meters of developed length, but I'm at 28. So I need to move over to the three inch column, which is good to 61 meters of developed length. My vent stack will be three inch. While we're at it, let's go ahead and size that stack vent. Well, the stack vent is four inch at its base. There's still 90 fixed units, so I gotta go across at 140. And when I get to the two inch column, it says that's good to eight meters of developed length. I only have five meters of developed length on my stack vent, so I can actually do this. My stack vent can be two inches. Now, some of you at this point might be saying, wait a minute, that is your main stack going up. Is the main stack not supposed to be three inches? Well, let's look at what the code says to this. Clause 2584, part five. Sanitary building drainage shall be provided with at least one vent that is not less than three inches in size. The vent stack is three inches in size. So we have met that requirement. That means the stack vent can be two inches there. And I would want to see that on a quiz. Now the last piece to size up there is the vent header. Now in order to properly size the vent header, you need the hydraulic load. Well, we've already figured that out. That's 90 fixed units. And we need the total developed length. We need to read clause 2583, number three to figure that out though. For the purposes of table 2583, the length of a vent header shall be its developed length from the most distant soil waste pipe connection to outside air. So for this vent header, the most distant soil waste pipe connection is actually going to be at the very base of the vent stack, which goes down to the base of the south stack, 
and we've already figured that out to be 28 meters to outside air. Well, now let's reference table 2583. I need to go down on the left-hand side to select my hydraulic load, and I've got 90 fixture units, so I have to go all the way down to 100. And when I go across, 2 inch is only good to a developed length of 11. I need 28, but 3 inch, I can go all the way to 79 meters of developed length. So 3 inch is still good. The only thing we'd want to do is upsize that vent header by one pipe size just before it penetrates the roof for frost closure. Well, we've come to the end of this video, and I hope these videos are helping out. But stay tuned for the fourth and last video in the Vent Stack series. You have yourself a wonderful day.